Cooper Island, British Virgin Islands. Here we go with our Wednesday morning time lapse. You can see a few stars out and about in the Desmond Ply. We're seeing nearly clear conditions out there. However, do have a little bit of some cloud cover to contend with. We head into tonight and into tomorrow. You can see a bit of some fair weather cumulus clouds out there, not putting down any rain showers. Some breezes, as you can tell by the ripples out there onto the bay. However, nothing really too, too bad out there. And we do look off to the north where we do see a small craft advisory here. It's north of St. Thomas, north of St. John. Doesn't even uh, really encompass the near shore waters. But if you're doing any far out boating, especially closer to those open waters of the Atlantic, watch out. Could be some larger wave heights there. Maybe some choppier waters, more dangerous conditions. Satellite across the Caribbean showcasing more in the way of quiet weather like what we have been seeing. There is one storm system that's out here towards western Cuba that's providing quite Quite a bit of some shower and stormy activity that will likely push through that region as well as the Bahamas, but nothing really pushing towards us despite a little bit of some cloud cover here into Guadalupe. And you can see it's not quite as white as what's up here to the north. So that means the clouds are actually lower to the ground and don't hold quite as much moisture. Nonetheless, they'll be pushing further northward and could spark up a couple of showers from time to time. You can see that for our 1230 PM Thursday, but by Thursday late afternoon, we're starting to see more of that sunshine return as all that moisture works off to the north. Nice sunshine across the majority of the greater Antilles as well. And that'll be for our Saturday too. As we start off the weekend, the right foot, plenty of sunshine across the region here. Look at that 930. Good to go. Heading for our Wednesday night into Thursday morning. In come the clouds 536. Could see a quick shower or maybe a quick rumble of thunder through our Thursday beginning of the day. However, skies clear relatively quickly. You can see our rainfall outlook. Primary chances off to our west for uh, parts of Puerto Rico for hard though. That's where we could see a bit more in the way of that future winds coming from the uh, east southeast, so not purely southeast wind, but definitely kind of typical winds for this time of year. And you can see that we're just really seeing more of that blue shading, so that does imply that we'll be seeing those winds probably on the order about 10, 15 miles per hour, nothing too, too bad for the most part. Wave heights as we continue into Thursday afternoon, seeing some deeper shades of blue here that does imply that will see less in the way of those larger wave heights, even smaller waves we head for our Friday. So good boating conditions. We head into the weekend here. Uh, that small craft advisory off to the north, maybe seeing a little bit more wave action up there. Let's get right to it as we continue for Thursday. High temperatures 83, 84 up to 87. So kind of getting back to normal in terms of that warmth, maybe even a touch above normal for this time of year. Right to the five day and we do see Common things, 86 degrees, mostly sunny skies, not a whole lot of variety over the next five days. Highs right near 86, lows at 74. Rain chances only about 10, 20%. I wouldn't be surprised if you did see a quick early shower there on Thursday. Then as we head for the weekend, plenty of sunshine, Tracy. Not really seeing a whole lot in terms of the rain chances over these next five. All right, thanks for that.